Hello and welcome to this week's chair yoga. My name is Debbie Mormon and welcome. Uh, my usual reminder, please always listen to and respect your body and only move in ways that feel comfortable and safe for you. Nothing should cause any sharp or burning pain. If it does, please stop doing that. Feel free to modify for yourself in any way that you need or want to. This is your practice, so make it yours. We're going to use a strap for a little bit today, so please grab um, a strap, a belt, a towel, a necktie, um, anything long and strappy would be helpful. And we'll set that to the side. So just uh, take a minute, we're gonna get centered. So find an easy seated position in your chair and lengthen your spine, lower your gaze or close your eyes and let your shoulders soften. And take a minute to welcome yourself to your practice. Thank yourself for showing up on your chair today, for carving out some time in your life, for self-care, for reflection, for movement. So last week was the fall equinox and we're gonna take a, a little time at the end of practice today during our meditation to think about what that might mean for us in our lives. Notice your breath, feel the cool air entering through the nose, the warm air leaving the nose, maybe trace the breath as it comes in to nourish our bodies. And the air as it leaves the nose. You can even imagine breathing in all the things that you would like to see more present in your life. And imagine exhaling out any negativity or unwanted things in your life. Letting those things go with the exhale. Inviting in the desired on the inhale and just stay with that. Focus. As we take five long, slow, deep belly breaths. Again, inviting the positive things in on the inhale and letting go of the things that are not so positive on the exhale. Five slow deep breaths on your own. Just resume normal breathing. And gently blink open the eyes or leave them closed, whatever floats your boat. We'll start with uh, just some linking the movement with our breath. So we're just going to move the arms and link the movement. So let the arms hang by your side and on an inhale, the palms up, the arms come up overhead, palms touch. And on an exhale, palms down, straight arms, the arms lower back down by the hips, flow like that. Inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, arms lower. This nice slow meditative movement to get us started. more. And 
Go ahead and bring the palms of the hands back to the tops of your thighs. We'll loosen up the neck a little bit. So on an inhale, the chin lifts up and forward. On an exhale, chin. Strong, straight spine. Couple more. Bring the head back up to neutral and we'll just turn the head side to side like we're saying no. So an inhale, the chin goes all the way to the right. Exhale, chin goes all the way to the left. Couple more. Again, bring the head back to neutral, facing forward. And on an inhale, we're going to scrunch the shoulders, shrug the shoulders all the way up by the ears, maybe make fists, maybe clench the face, the jaw. And on an exhale, let it all release. Again, inhale, shrug the shoulders, tense everything up. <sighs> Open mouth, exhale, release it all. Two more. And let your arms just hang down by your side. Maybe shake them out a little bit to loosen up the arms, the shoulders. Oh, and then we're going to inhale the arms straight out to a T. The palms are facing down. And we're going to focus um, a little internal and external rotation of the shoulders. And we're going to focus on the shoulders. So we're just going to internally rotate the shoulders forward and then externally rotate the shoulders back. So the palms are flipping up and down here. So on an exhale, internally rotate, palms circle and face up. Exhale, externally rotate. Inhale, internally rotate. Exhale, externally rotate. Good. Inhale the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, lower the arms all the way back down. Inhale, arms up to a T. Exhale, externally rotate. Inhale, internally rotate. Exhale, externally rotate. Inhale, internally rotate. Exhale, bring the arms all the way up. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, release the arms down. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, the arms up to a T. Exhale, externally rotate the shoulders. Inhale, internally rotate the shoulders. Exhale, externally rotate. Inhale, internally rotate. Exhale, externally rotate. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, release the arms back down to the side. And again, just shake those arms out. Good. Let's take the right ear to the right shoulder and then inhale, head back up to neutral. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. And we'll find a little flow here. So exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale through neutral. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Find that flow.
And then extend the left arm straight out to the left. And again, we're going to internally and externally rotate the left shoulder. So just notice what that does to the sensation in the left side of the neck. And then maybe take the chin more toward the right shoulder. Keep internally and externally rotating that left arm. Good. Release the left hand back to the lap. Bring the head back up to neutral. And then exhale. Let the left ear drop to the left shoulder. Let the right arm dangle. Staying connected with your slow, even breath. And then bring the right arm out to the right and find your internal and external rotation of the right shoulder. So the right arm is extended straight out. And it's just internally and externally rotating. Maybe bring the chin toward the left shoulder and keep internally and externally rotating the right arm. And bring the right hand back to the lap, the head back up to neutral, and just take a minute, maybe lower your gaze or close your eyes. Just notice how the neck and shoulders are feeling after that movement. Good. Let's take some shoulder rolls backwards. So the shoulders come forward, up by the ear, shoulder blades draw together as they come back and down. Find the biggest range of motion possible in your shoulders, recognizing that all of our bodies are different. All of our injuries are different. So respect your body. Let go of comparison. Let go of expectation. Good. Take one more. And come back to neutral, and we'll change the direction of our shoulder roll. So now we bring the shoulder blades back, up, forward, and down. So we're rotating the shoulders forward. If you can connect the movement, great. I mean the breath with your movement. So we inhale as we go back and up, exhale as we go forward and down. in neutral. Maybe shake the arms, bounce the legs, loosen everything up. And then we'll flow one arm at a time. So Good. Now both arms come up by the ears. Exhale it down. Inhale both arms up by the ears. This time we're going to exhale into a side bend to the right. So the right hand comes to the base of the chair. Left arm reaches up by the left ear, taking a side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale side bend to the left. Inhale, both arms up by the ears. Exhale, arms 
forward and down. Inhale, arms up by the ears. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, both arms through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, arms forward and down by the hips. Two more times. Inhale, arms up by the ears. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, arms forward and down by the hips. Last time. Inhale, arms up by the ears. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, arms forward and down. All right, so we're going to come into a twist flow here. So we're going to extend the arms straight out to the side so our arms are at a T. And we're going to just twist side to side um, without the expectation of how far we twist. So draw the belly in, lengthen the spine, take a breath in, and on an exhale, we're going to twist to the right any amount. Keep both hips rooted. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist right. And just find your flow here, focusing on the mid-back and feeling that twist originating from the middle of your spine. Good. Keep going. You got it. Let's take one more to each side. And release out. Find our perfect posture here. Ankles under the knees, shoulders over the hips. <sighs> We're going to take a little flow with uh, what I like to call Superman arms. So we're going to inhale both arms up by the ears. And on an exhale, the arms and the torso come forward to a diagonal. The arms come all the way back, palms down. So the straight arms are reaching back behind you as the torso lifts forward. And then we inhale back up. Exhale, lean it forward, Superman arms. You can always eliminate using the arms here and just move the torso if that feels better in your body. Good, let's take a couple more. Inhale, arms up by the ears. Exhale, the arms straight out to the sides, and we're going to flex the wrists. So the fingers are pointing any amount up toward the ceiling, and on an exhale, reverse that. So the fingers are pointing down to the floor. Inhale, flex the wrists. Exhale, fingers to the floor. So we're just moving the wrists here. Keep going, flexing and unflexing. Good, take one more, flex and down. Release the arms, shake them out. Good, then we're gonna bring our hands together in front of heart center in prayer position and we're going to bring the hands away from the heart a little bit the elbows are kind of up 
And we're gonna push, take the left hand and push the right elbow over to the right and we're gonna gaze to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, the right hand pushes the left elbow away and we gaze to the right. Inhale through center. So the arms are strong and active here. And we're just going side to side. One more time to each side. release the hands to the thighs and let's take a forward fold here so your options are to bring the elbows or the forearms to the knees and the head hangs heavy here this is a perfect forward fold or maybe the hands travel down the shins to blocks or the floor and the torso is draped over the thighs you do what works for you but wherever you are, try to relax the head and the neck completely. Working to keep our attention and our focus present in the moment. The best way to do that is to stay focused on the body and or on the breath. torso is draped over the thighs go ahead and bring the elbows up to the knees take a breath here and then either lift the torso up or use the hands on the knees to help the torso upright we try to make that move slow so we don't get dizzy or anything all right so we're going to interlace the fingers right in front of our hearts center. So the palms are touching the heart center. And we're going to find a flow here. So take a breath in and on an exhale, flip the palms forward and extend the arms straight out in front. Inhale the arms up overhead and exhale, lower the arms straight out forward again. Inhale the hands back to the heart center and take an exhale. All right, on your next exhale, hands go forward. Inhale it up, exhale it forward. Inhale, hands back to the heart center. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, hands extend forward. Inhale, they rise up. Exhale, they face forward again. Inhale, the heart center. Take a round of breath. And keep that flow. We'll do it two more times. a round of breath with the hands against your heart center. Good. Keep the interlace of the fingers and bring the backs of your hands right under your chin so your elbows are extended out to your side walls and the interlaced fingers are under your chin. And we're gonna take a breath in and see what it feels like to lift the elbows up as high as they can go. Exhale as low as they can go. Inhale out and up, exhale down. 
flow like that. Inhale the elbows up. Exhale them down. Two more times. And release out. Just take a minute in neutral. Check in with your body. How you feeling? And we're going to repeat the Superman flow that we did a little bit ago. So we're going to inhale both arms up by the ear. And on an exhale, lean the torso forward, Our straight arms come down back, inhale, rise it up, exhale, pretend you're Superman, keep flowing. Remembering the option to not flow the arms with this. You can just move the torso if that feels better for you. We're going to take three more. Good. Release the arms down. Maybe your heart's beating a little bit faster. Embrace that. And then we're going to take the legs to a wide angle. So the right knee goes out to the right. Left knee goes out to the left. The feet are still, the ankles are still directly under the knees. And we're going to take a few rounds of cat-cow here with our wide angle of the legs. So on an inhale, arch the back. Draw the shoulder blades together, the chin lifts, belly sticks out, and on an exhale, scoop out the belly, widen the shoulder blades, round the back, and the chin drops, and that's our flow. So inhale for cow, exhale for cat. Two more. Bring the torso back to neutral. The legs are going to stay at a wide angle. We're going to bring the hands just above the knee. So the, the four fingers are to the outside of your thighs and your thumbs are on the inside of your thighs or your knees. And you'll notice that kind of scrunches the shoulders up by the ears and lean forward. So it's kind of like the third base coach does sometimes when you're playing baseball or softball. And then take a breath in, and on an exhale, we're going to drop the right shoulder any amount down toward the center, and the gaze goes over the left shoulder. And then inhale back through center, exhale, drop the left shoulder. And while we're doing this, the left hand is pushing into the left knee, left knee is pushing into the left hand. Inhale through center, exhale, drop the right shoulder. And just find your flow. Inhale through center. Exhale, drop. Alternating shoulders in to the middle. Keep the belly in. It's another type of twist for us today.
let's take one more to each side. And we'll meet back in neutral. We're going to keep the legs at a wide angle. We're going to extend both arms straight out to a T. And we're just going to reach the right hand toward the right side wall. So we're sort of shifting our torso to the right, but keeping both hips rooted to the chair. Inhale through center. Exhale, reach left. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach right, alternating our reaches. Keep the belly in. Reach, try to reach that side wall. One more time to each side. Toe the legs back forward. And let's go ahead and grab our strap. We're going to work on our hamstrings a little bit here, loosening up the backs of the legs. So option to stay more toward the edge of your chair, or you can sit back a little bit further in your chair. But you're going to take your strap in both hands and uh, loop the strap around the ball of your right foot. And then you're going to lift the right leg straight any amount so the right foot is flexed. You're going to hang out here, waking up the back of the right leg. Maybe you lift it up a little bit higher. Go to wherever you start feeling some sensation in the back of that right leg. Sometimes it can take a while for our hamstrings to soften or loosen up a little bit. So hang out, breathe. Focus on the back of that right leg and imagine softening any place you can here. Maybe it's even in the shoulders or the neck from holding the leg up. After you've been here for a few breaths, you might want to try lifting it a little bit higher. Remembering you can always bring some soft bend into the right knee if it's too much on your hamstrings to have the right leg straight. You do what works. Good. Gently re-bend the right leg, lower it down to the earth. Notice the difference between the right leg and the left leg. And then we'll even it out. So loop the strap around the ball of the left foot. The ends of your strap are in both hands. And we'll inhale the left leg straight forward. Don't try to force it initially. Be gentle with the hammies. We'll loosen them up gradually here. Spine stays long and straight. Shoulders soften down away from the ears. Breathing into the back of the left leg. Good. Maybe you lift it up a little bit higher. Maybe not. Gently re-bend the left leg, lower it back down. We're going to take the strap 
with straight arms, we're going to widen a little bit or a lot wider than the shoulders. It depends on um, your range of motion in your shoulders. But we're going to inhale straight arms up overhead and just bring the arms back a little bit at first. So we're kind of opening that heart center. The shoulder blades are drawn together. And on an exhale, bring the strap back forward and down to your lap. Arms relax. Inhale. Up and back. Exhale forward and down. Inhale up and back. Exhale forward and down. Now this time you may want to see if it, it's possible to inhale up and back and circle the arms all the way back so your strap lands behind your chair or behind your back. And then inhale, lift those arms back up, forward, and down. You can always repeat it how we were doing it initially if this is not feeling okay in your shoulders. You do what works in your body. The wider your hands are, the less intense this is on the shoulders. So if you want to make it more intense, bring the hands closer together. If you want to make it less intense, the hands go wider. Inhale as you rise, exhale as you lower. Take one more. Good. All right, we're going to stick with the strap a little bit more. We're going to loop the strap around the base of the right toes. And again, we're going to extend the right leg forward. This time we're going to grab both ends of the strap with our right hand. And we're going to extend the left arm straight out to the left. The palm is facing forward. Take a breath in and on an exhale, open the right leg any amount to the right. Inhale, back forward. Exhale, open the straight right leg out to the right. Inhale it forward. Exhale it opens. Inhale forward. Exhale, it opens. This time we're going to hold it here for a few breaths. Good. Bring the right leg back forward. Now you're going to grab both ends of the strap in the left hand. The right arm is going to extend out to the right. And it's going to be a big stretch for the outer right hip, so please move respectfully. Any amount, keeping both sit bones rooted to the chair. Let the left hand guide the right leg to the left. Any amount until you feel this nice stretch in the outer right hip. I shouldn't say nice stretch. Maybe it's not nice for you. I don't know. This is a part of our body that does not get much action. So this can feel nice or maybe not so nice. I don't know. I kind of like it. I think that's our IT band. Good. Release. Bend the right leg. Take the strap and place it now on your left foot. We're going to extend the left leg forward and straight. Both hands grab the strap with your left hand. <laughs> Both hands. Both ends of the strap with your left hand. Right arm extends straight out to the right. And then we open the left leg out to the left. Inhale it forward. Exhale. Open it out to the left. Inhale it forward. Exhale. Open. Good. This time when it comes open to the left, we're going to hang out here and hold it. 
Remembering the option to always bring a soft bend into the left knee if that feels better for you. Bring the left leg back forward. The right hand now grabs both ends of the strap. Left arm reaches out to the left. And with respect, the right hand guides the left leg to the right till you feel that stretch in your outer left hip. Gently release yourself out of it. We're going to let go of the strap. One last little move here, and then we'll settle into Shavasana for our meditation on this change of seasons to the fall. So we're going to bring our feet and our knees as close to together as possible. We're going to lean the torso forward and we're going to hook the left elbow um, on the outside of our right knee. Now, if you're like, uh-uh, that, that isn't happening, bring the left hand to the outer right knee and maybe the right hand reaches back for the chair. So we're really just working on a twist to the right. So either staying more upright we're leaning forward and the hands come to prayer and we kind of push into the right leg with that left elbow to open the heart up any amount toward the right. We're going to hang out wherever you are in this twist and breathe. See if your knees are still together. The gaze can be up over the right shoulder, neutral or down, whatever feels best in your neck. Big twist here. To get a full deep breath back out of your twist. Good. Gently release. Come on back through neutral. Maybe shake the arms, shake the legs, and then we'll take it on the other side. So feet and knees and legs together. Remember your options. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. Left hand reaches back. And we twist to the left this way. Or that torso comes forward. Right elbow hooks the left knee. Hands come to prayer. And we open the heart center to the left any amount. And we breathe. And gently untwist. Bring yourself back upright. And we'll settle in for Shavasana. So remember your options for Shavasana are either to stay seated, just like this with your gaze lowered or your eyes closed, or you can lie down on your back on the earth or put your head down on your desk, whatever works for you to Allow the effects of the class to integrate into the body. Allow yourself to soften, to feel very heavy. So each of the seasons has its own particular energy that represents where nature is in its recurring cycle of birth, transformation, and death. And as a being who is closely connected to and directly affected by 
the rhythms of nature. You can capture and use the energy of the season by moving through your own seasonal process. In the months when summer transitions to fall, nature prepares for the coming changes by shedding what it no longer needs. In many ways, the energy of winter is synonymous with death. As foliage appears to die, the ground freezes over and the days become darker. However, winter is really about hibernation and the incubation of what will be renewed again with the coming of spring. In actuality, there is no death, just a long deep sleep as nature's energy changes form. The fall is the season that prepares nature for the pruning process, which will ultimately result in seeds being planted for the next chapter. It's a great time to take inventory of what you need to trim back or tend to differently as you settle inward for the coming months. Imagine for a moment that you're about to begin a journey of preparing for a long winter. During this time, you know that the days will be shorter, the temperature will be colder, and some of your creature comforts won't be available. What do you want to let go of? What's become too burdensome or unnecessary on your journey? And it may feel like you've accumulated far too much baggage. Maybe you've been lugging it around for far too long and it feels heavy. It's time to unload. Drop a few thousand dead leaves and prune a couple hundred branches. Like nature, you need to clear out the thick brush and rid yourself of things you've been afraid to let go of. It's time to abandon the rules of society that seek to convince you it's not acceptable to speak your truth, to quiet that voice that convinces you to stay uncomfortably comfortable right where you are. So I invite you now to shed anything that binds you to your stubborn ways of maybe sabotaging your dreams, your goals, remembering that without pruning, there can be no new growth. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Invite small movements to your fingers and to your toes. And as you're ready, reach the arms up by the ears, the legs out in front. Give yourself a big stretch in both directions. And then relax it all down. If you're on the floor, go ahead and bring yourself up to a seated position, and once there, we'll all press our palms together in front of our heart center. And I invite you to continue this sort of inventory about what unnecessary baggage you might want to shed this fall in preparation for our winter rest. And what might you want to replace that baggage with? Something new, something positive. Maybe it's a challenge to yourself, physically, mentally, spiritually. And 
We express deep gratitude to these bodies of ours for moving as perfectly as they did today. My soul honors your soul. I commend the place in you where the spirit resides. I admire the place in you that is of love, light, truth, and peace, because it's also within me, and in sharing these things, we are united. We are one. Namaste. Thank you. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye.